Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Happy Girl Alaska. I'm your girl Terry. So it's been a minute, I know. I've been hibernating for the winter. It's been extremely cold, colder than it has been in a very long time. And so um, I'm finally emerging from my den. And so I'm gonna be out and about today. Um, I think I wanna try to do weekly vlogs. Don't hold me to it. You guys who've been around for a while know how that goes. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road and I'll take you with me. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, and so for anyone who's interested in like how some of us Alaskans dress, because you know, the temperatures can get pretty extreme in the winter time. And I know there are other places in the US and they deal with the same thing, but um, real quick. So I got this stole from Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description box. It's super, super duper um, warm and it's also stylish. I like it because it can kind of take your jacket, any jacket, to another level. Um, this jacket, you can't really see it that well, but um, it's quilted and it's from QVC. I love it. I'll put a link to it in the description if it's still available. And then my boots are from Zappos. I love these. These are Chelsea boots. Um, super cute. Again, they go with anything. So, yeah. That's what we're working with today. All right, let's get going. Okay, so our first stop is the post office. I had to come out to the airport post office because all the other ones in town are closed. Um, so I'm gonna do a real quick run in here, um, hand them over my return from a purchase I made on Amazon. You guys, <clears throat> the thing I ordered was like one of those shells that goes over your the back of your stove because I kind of wanted to put some things up. I've been doing a lot of decorating in my home and ordering quite a bit from Amazon. I kind of have a little bit of a problem, but I'm trying to rein that in. But this item could very well be used as a weapon and I had no idea. So it's like complete stainless steel, but the way they cut it, the edges are sharp like a razor blade. It's so crazy and it's by the grace of God that I did not cut my hand possibly sever my hand I know that sounds super dramatic but I was just like uh no this is going back so I'm gonna get in here process this return and I'll be back as you can see folks it is still a winter wonderland the temperature today is 21 degrees Fahrenheit and we're supposed to start seeing higher temperatures i think towards the end of this month but right now you know the temperatures have some days it's been negative one and two um other days it's been lingering at about you know the mid to lower teens um, but this is typical alaskan weather typical alaskan scenery it's just the past few months i would say um January and February which are our coldest months and I believe it's that way everywhere in other states as well however um, we were like down in the negative 15 negative 12 you know and that's not the usual for Anchorage or at least it hasn't been for quite some time so um, anyway we are heading off to our next destination look at those mountains though look you gotta appreciate the beauty of those snow covered mountains it's so beautiful i hope you can see it okay yeah all right okay so for some of you that have been watching my channel for a while you know that i went to thailand last year in october and i was over there for about 10 days i still owe you all an upload of that trip because it was just oh my gosh it was so amazing I really want to get back to Phuket. Bangkok was cool, but it's kind of like every other city that you might experience. But I mean, Bangkok with its breathtaking views. Oh my gosh, I am dreaming uh, of going back to Phuket. So, but no, Kasha and I are going on a trip here in the next few days. We're gonna be heading to Greece and we'll be in Athens for four days and Santorini for four days 
and look let me tell you I don't know if this happens to people as they get older but I'm finding that I'm really wanting to take vacations a lot more often I'm wanting to venture out go to other countries you know I think that I'm kind of leaning towards more of uh, investing in experiences than in stuff um, don't get me wrong I do like nice things and I am a little materialistic that might sound bad but I like nice things um, but I'm kind of starting to lean more towards investing in experiences and so I decided for Akashia Sweet 16 that I would take her to an international trip so we're really looking forward to that she's excited it's her spring break so I think it's gonna be a really nice treat um, for both of us all right, so just finished up the Walmart run. I didn't take you guys in there because if you've been in one Walmart, you've pretty much seen them all. So anyway, um, I'm heading back to the house. And uh, so just to give you a little bit of a, another life update, I guess. Um, I started a new job. I'm so excited. Um, the environment is great. The last place where I worked, the environment was cool. And I had a ton of flexibility, um, but the thing is that, I don't know, it started getting a little weird there. Um, some of the folks started retiring and they brought in some newer folks that really didn't have the experience or skill sets to fill the positions that they were filling. And it was more of a case of who they knew as to why they got the job. So yeah, it started getting really toxic. And um, I've since been reached out to from by my former <laughs> coworkers and they're like, hey, are you guys hiring where you're at right now? And I'm just kind of like, uh, I think so. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that was unfortunate. I thought it was really, they had a really nice crew, you know, when I first started out there. So, and you know, it's funny because I normally, I'm the kind of person that when I get hired on with a company, I will stay there for at least 10 years. And with this last company, I was there for only two. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I think for me, I feel like work should be fun and it shouldn't feel like a job per se. I mean, I know that it's not all fun and games all the time, but I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I'm passionate about project management. And so the environment that I work in, I need for it to be a healthy environment. And if it's not, um, I'm confident enough in my skill sets and my experience to where I believe I can find a job somewhere else <laughs> so maybe this message is meant for somebody out there who's watching this video look if you're not happy where you're at you don't have to stay somebody else is always hiring okay so I am gonna go ahead and get on to the house um, oh yeah one more thing one more thing I'm debating taking down that video where I um, had my friend Sean share his Alaskan experience and the reason why I'm thinking about taking it down is I signed on with Body Renew and Body Renew is a local um, what would you call it workout facility I guess kind of like um, kind of like Planet Fitness but the thing is Body Renew offers workout classes and um, I think that's the only difference really and the thing is the individual who signed me up signed me up he committed me to a plan that I we did not discuss and so when I went to um, have a conversation with customer service people about it they were like well you signed the contract and the way they have this con I mean it's a whole thing I can make a separate video about that if you're curious but if anybody went to Body Renew and signed up as a result of that video that I put up, I, I apologize if you find that you've been locked into a contract that you did not discuss with the person that you sat down with. And surprisingly enough, the individual who signed me up has a history of doing that. Um, one of my coworkers, the only way she got out of it, which is really, I mean... 
it's crazy. The only way she got out of it is that her husband is a journalist and he was going to write a story. He was going to do a write up on Body Renew and their um, quote unquote shady business practices. So I wouldn't advise signing up with Body Renew, but that's just because, you know, my experience and a friend of mine or my coworker, her experience. And then I also saw posts on Facebook. Um, that said they experienced the same thing so and I don't know maybe Planet Fitness has those same issues I haven't experienced that so um, yeah I'm still kind of going back and forth battling with that um, I'm considering hiring a consumer attorney behind it which is it's just a lot right for a gym membership um, but in any case, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the house. Sorry to kind of, you know, go left with that rant. But yeah, again, body renew is a body re -no. Don't do it. <laughs> All right. Check back in. Okay. So I'm back at the house and turns out I'm going to have to head out again. My printer is not working, so I'm going to have to probably shoot back over to Walmart and um, either pick up a new printer or do something. I don't know. I might end up going to Best Buy. So anyway, um, we're starting to get packed. Kasha's making a lot more progress than I ha than I am. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it. Um, I'm going to do a thorough cleaning of my house as well because I love coming home to a nice, clean, and spotless house. So. All right, I will check back in. There's not a whole lot going on today. I might meet up with Mags and we might grab like some appetizers or something like that. I might have a glass of wine, but uh, ain't too much going on today. All right, I'll check in with you tomorrow if there's nothing else. Okay, so I'm not really hungry, um, but I kind of had a taste for some cheesecake. So I picked this up from Cars. It's a creme brulee and it's so tasty so I'm gonna have that and then I think later on I'm gonna make myself a um, a cosmopolitan because I haven't had a cocktail in a while um, and I'm gonna use this cherry noir I've never used it before but I do like Grey Goose vodka and so I'm gonna mix that with some pomegranate um, sparkling water I think it is and we'll see how it tastes I hope it's good if it is, I'll share the recipe down below in the description box. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday, and it feels like a Monday. I had my, I made my um, pomegranate cosmopolitan last night, and oh my god, that drink is so strong. I'm gonna, it, it's strong, but it's really tasty. So you have to be careful with it. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description box um, I used a really really good vodka Grey Goose um, so I used two different Grey Goose I used a regular one that's not sweetened and then I used um, the other one was like a cherry flavored vodka it was really nice um, and then like an orange to <laughs> I can barely speak and then an orange liqueur and then um, what else the pomegranate sparkling juice or I'll put all the ingredients in the description box but I'm doing my morning routine right now and my morning routine mostly is like getting up I make myself some detox tea hold on I'll show you hold on okay so this is the peach detox yogi tea and then they also have like the plain flavor and then they have another flavor too or several other flavors but I really like the plain one a lot better but um, this is what I have now so I got to use that I packed the other ones to take on my trip and so um, so I have my <clears throat> well, I have my tea and then I'll have a cup of coffee and then I um, go and like get ready for the day so I'll check back in when I am ready to head out to work okay so I am about to get out the door head to work 
and I'll check back in probably around lunchtime because I need to run some errands. So I might take you guys along with me for that. All right, see you in a bit. Hello and good morning. So it's super early. It's like almost 2 a.m. And Kasha and I are about to head to the airport because we are on our way to Greece. Yes! Oh, I am just so looking forward to this trip. So um, we're going to go from Anchorage to Seattle, Seattle to L.A., L.A. to Turkey, Turkey to Greece. And so I know that there's like all kinds of hoopla going on right now with the coronavirus and all that stuff. But so far, Greece is not on the list of like high risk areas. I don't think it's on any of the, the list at all. Um, you know how they have like the minor medium and then like critical concerns or whatever so that's looking pretty good um but i'm just really excited i was able to get a little bit of a nap kasha is napping now and i'm gonna call an uber around hmm, 2 15 2 30 and then we'll check in at the airport Okay, Kasha and I have finally arrived at our hotel over here in Athens, Greece. We are staying at the Athens Plaza and it looks really nice and fancy um, from outside as well as the uh, lobby area. But just real quick, I'm really not trying to be on camera because I've been flying since mm, 5 a.m. yesterday. So we started out on the 10th and it is now the 11th and it is almost 10 o'clock p.m. Oh gosh, we're time travelers. Um, but this room is really pretty. I like how it's like white and off-white and gray. Very nice. Okay. Good morning, good morning. All right, so this is like our first real day over here in Athens, Greece, and we're going to head out to have some breakfast, and if it's worth filming, I'll go ahead and, and get some of that. But um, yeah, last night's sleep was awesome, and I just kind of want to show off my outfit here. Um, this is a jumpsuit that I picked up from Nordstrom, and um, really comfortable. I don't know if there's anybody else out there, but when jumpsuits came back in style because they were out for a while, I went crazy. I don't know how many jumpsuits I own now, but uh, yeah, this is the look. And then my guess, gold sneakers, but they're like fashion sneakers, so I love them. And I got these from Famous Footwear. I'll try to remember to put links in the description box but I'm kind of like really excited about the wardrobe that I chose for my trip so anyway Kasha's getting ready and uh Kasha you want to say hi? Uh, hi. This is our sweet 16. Yes very lovely. I'm finally 16 that's so weird. <laughs> yeah okay well we'll check back yeah. in later. <laughs> okay I just wanted to capture this out outdoors area so we have like a little balcony and we're in downtown Athens so of course you got your office buildings and all that stuff and then look at that. this is so cool though I can't believe we're in Greece so nice and it's like way early right now So it's like really early. It's um, not even seven o'clock yet, but we're up early because we want to go downstairs and or upstairs, wherever it is, and have their continental breakfast. So, all right, just wanted to show this to you guys. Um, I'm hoping today is going to be a really exciting and interesting day. If it is, I'll share it. All right, I'll check back in. Exchange some US currency. We got a pretty good discount too. Um, if I can remember, I'll get the name of the place that we went to. 
um, but they give you a really good rate, a lot better than what you would get in the States. I think this is the area where they dropped us off last night, right? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Kasia. Hi. <laughs> So I can definitely. That's why what I might do after a whole vacation for all the pictures. was a wealthy Athenian philosopher. He lived in the second century AD and he gave his own money and this was built for musical performances. Those days it had a roof over it. Nowadays the seats are all reconstructed because this is being used every summer uh, who had his education in the schools of art behind the screen. So you do things about... Otherwise, it's going to be a thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> what are you worried about? From here now, we have a good view of the city. The hill of the Arius Pavus, or Mars Hill. I mentioned to you in the bar that the Greeks are the oldest Christian uh, we, first century, which means it was Roman conquest era. Artemis Cariatides. A Cariatides is a lady carrying something on her head. They are carrying the roof of the building on their heads, as the statues are used as columns. This covered Kekrop's tomb talk about the Octetetro point. We said the Parthenon is a Doric style building. We also said the Doric style is a head style. Please look at this building. Is it though a heavy building? It's built in a head style, but is it heavy? On that side of the Acropolis, then you have free time for pictures. Let's go. Okay, so we just finished up with our tour of the Acropolis and some other temples and buildings. So now we're kind of walking around, taking pictures, and then we're going to head over to the Modern Museum. Hey, wish you were here. With the coastline of all the U.S., Atlantic and Pacific coast together, you can get an idea of the Greek country. Greece has 17,000 kilometers. 
They learn from other people. They picked up ideas, influences. They brought them here. Hey guys, we are back. And so this is day, what is this, day two or three? Are you asking me? I am. Gosh, I lost track. Two? Okay, so we've stayed here for two nights. Yeah. And then we're getting ready to hop, get on a plane. It's a small plane to head over to Santorini. And I'm really excited to get to Santorini because the way I imagine it is it's like this kind of a beach town and it's going to be super relaxing. I didn't book any excursion or tours for us while we're over there because I just want to rest. I mean, when you book a whole bunch of tours back to back, that could be a bit much and I didn't want to I didn't want it like that. So, we are over here in the midst of this coronavirus situation and um we're following the news closely and as of now, Greece is not on the list so we believe that we'll be able to get back in time they have suspended school for like or not suspended school but extended spring break for another week and so um miss kashia doesn't really have a problem with that but there are some other things that we need to get done so anyway i am going to go now and we'll check back then <laughs> check back in either while we're on the plane or after we land in Santorini. Okay, you guys, so we are in Santorini and I'm telling you, it's a major letdown, this room here. So I'm gonna just show you, Kasha, I don't know if you wanna be in the shot or not, but the room looks very old and they said it was a double bed, but It's more like a sleeper sofa, and that is not how it was described in the brochure. So, okay, so this is like the kitchen area. And then the tub. This is the bathroom. I mean, for what you pay for this, it's just, it's not acceptable. It really is not. So I think I'm gonna get on the phone and contact the uh, the tour guide and let him know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, this is just this is crazy. I can't. I cannot. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, March 14th. We're over here in Santorini and look at this beautiful view we get to wake up to. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is like right outside the um, balcony. I think it might be a little chilly, but um, I'll go outside here in a few minutes so that you guys could get a better look. It's pretty early. It's like not even 6.30 a.m. yet. So um, yeah, I'll check back in. Hey there. All right, I'm back, freshened up, ready to start the day. So I'm going to swing back around and show you guys this beautiful view outside. Matter of fact, let's go outside. Okay, so I need to fill you guys in on a situation that happened yesterday. So I showed you all that um, the first room that they assigned to us, and I say the first room because I requested for them to move us to a better room. I mean, that room was dark. It was dank. It didn't have that much lighting. It looked scary. And so basically, you know, I told them, I said, hey, I looked at your photos online. This doesn't match what I saw. 
And if you're not able to accommodate me in a space that looks pretty similar to that, then um, we need to do something different. So they were able to accommodate me. I'm so glad. Um, the room is spacious. It actually has two levels. Um, and it's nice. It's kind of messy right now. So I'm going to see if we can maybe move some stuff around. And then I'll show you what the the better version of the rooms they have. I don't know if we got moved to the upgrade or what, but yeah, I'll um, make sure that I show you guys what the room looks like. Well, we are the free age, and that's why they make it simple. But the same name from the King Theodore's comes. So we have another eruption, and in that case can be split into two parts, the mainland again, not me. <laughs> So this is the front part of the famous church. We just visit this church from the very top. I'll show the postcards. Not equally.